Hi, I'm Paul Owen. I'm here to talk to you today about Law Dictionary on the Mac. This, pro this product, Dean's Law Dictionary, is now available on the Macintosh. You can get a free two-day trial. That's why I put this screen up. And I'll put the next one up that gives you contact information. You can go here on YouTube, pause it, and get us. We have a free two-day trial on the product. I'm going to demonstrate some certain characteristics of it. We have other lectures on YouTube with the PC version, but the content's the same and all the functions are practically the same, except some of the new stuff that we have on the Mac. Let's look at some things first. Here we have the word traction that I've highlighted. If I highlight this on the lookup table and I double click. Traction. Tracted. Tractive. Tractor. Okay. We rate the English speech capabilities of this in the 90s, 93, 95% thereabouts. Um, the Latin is not as good. It's 85 to 80, sometimes 90%, but it's more than enough that you won't be embarrassed when you go to speak the words. So it's pretty good. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. The second issue that we want to show you is, is when you have a word, like here we have tractor. I know that's not a legal word, but that's okay. Um, we highlight this and we click on it and all of a sudden it takes us to vehicle okay and all the words related to vehicle okay so it's really cool you can double click on anything on the right side it looks it up on the left side gives you the definition these blue highlights those are all the case sites Meh. Black's Law Dictionary doesn't, doesn't have hardly any of them I think they have a handful anymore uh, we have over 400,000 case sites in here now we're going to go on some of the more advanced usages besides the speech and the lookup abilities. Remember, if you watched the case brief lecture, the soup du jour topic uh, for like the last few years is in, in legal research and writing has been battered wife syndrome. You can look up all the cases that we have case briefed already with for battered wife syndrome. Here I'm going to right click on the search button and search as a phrase. In a few seconds, the combination of me getting all the case briefs in a few seconds, the combination of me finding everything there is about battered wife syndrome in Dean's Law Dictionary gets you 95 to 98 percent of the way finished with your legal research and writing class. Okay, it's really kind of cool. So it's really easy to use. Another soup du jour topic was race ipsa loquitur. Okay. Uh, I don't want to get into content, but you can see we have massive amounts of information about this particular topic, all the idiomatic phrases and expressions. So besides looking for all the case briefs that have race ipsa loquitur in it, you can also very quickly again here, okay, right click, search as a phrase, and in a few seconds, we find uh, there's 41 entries in Dean's Law Dictionary that address the issue of race ipsa loquitur. Cool part is, is when you do that and you search through it, we also highlight the words for you too so they're easy to find. Okay, When you're looking through some of these definitions, uh, some of the definitions are going to be quite lengthy and they can also have the term in it many, many times. The combination of looking it up in Dean's this way that I just showed you how to do, search the entire dictionary, and I'll just reset this again okay, by right clicking and now I can reset and I got a full blank dictionary again. So then I can click the word doctrine, okay, find that very quickly. Um, doctrine of after an acquired title. So if English is a second language, you don't have to read those crazy, almost impossible to understand pronunciation guides. Uh, just click here and you'll Doctrine be, of election. You'll be more than assured. Doctrine of divisibility. You'll be more than assured that you are speaking correctly when you open your mouth, so you don't embarrass yourself. Same with the Latin, it's pretty good. The Latin's not great, it's, it's, it's not the perfect Latin, like reus ipsa loquitor is the way you really say it if you're in the Vatican and you're speaking Latin. The way Americans say it is res ipsa loquitor, <laughs> okay? Uh, you'll get that version in the dictionary, all right? Uh, you can get a free two-day trial, go back to the beginning of the lecture. My name is Paul Owen. Thanks for listening.